Hey everybody, Judah Hoover here from the Landlords and Investors Mastermind Group. Walking a small commercial property in really any town, small town, USA, uh, on kind of the main street, the main drag. And I see a lot of real estate investors buying property like this. Uh, it's a two or a three unit building and it's got a small commercial space right out front and investors look at that as a great opportunity and unfortunately let's try not to get hit here as I cross the street unfortunately one of the problems that people run into is they don't perform as well as they think they could or they should and we're gonna take a look at this property but my message to people is that they really think about is the property as ideally situated and located as what I hope it was or what I wish it was and am I maybe being a little bit dishonest and disingenuous with myself so I'm standing here kind of in the uh, path of progress great little uh, town where lots of great stuff is happening but there's a property that's vacant about a block and a half away plenty of parking with this property that sometimes is the problem and there's been a little bit of a vacancy problem and the owner thinks that it has to do with lack of marketing, lack of effective commercial tenant screening. And I think that there's some other stuff going on than that and I think it's worth considering and having a hard conversation with yourself that maybe there's some functional obsolescence. See, the problem is, with these small units that are under a thousand feet in commercial space, you know, anybody who can afford that, one of two things is gonna happen to them. Either they're gonna move in and start their business and their business is gonna expand and grow and they're gonna need, need more space or their business is gonna shrink and you're gonna run into problems. So. Let's take a look at this building and let's see if we can't figure out a little bit more about what's going on. So we come into this space, you know, ubiquitous doorbell there, kind of giving you a 1930s to 1950s feel. Nice big bay windows up front, large open area here. And the hope that an owner would have is that whatever tenant takes over this space would go ahead and maybe do something different with the carpet maybe do some painting do something to make this their own the challenge is the business is either going to be successful and move out of a space like this or the business is going to fail and move out of a space like this so there's like three rooms and then a shared bathroom back here and a little shared hallway you can have success it can work it's just kind of a weird funky layout this goes back then and to you know big bank parking lot in the back here so there's plenty of parking here plenty of overflow parking not uh not really going to be something that's a problem or something that's a challenge but i really encourage owners when they get into spaces like this that they treat this like a garage. And what I mean by that is, if you buy a building and you're gonna rent out the garage separately for 75, 100, or even as little as 50 bucks, that you treat that garage as just simple extra income that you're gonna have for that property. And on a building like this, this might be vacant 50% of the time, meaning you might have a tenant that moves in for a year or two, and then you spend another year or two trying to find the next tenant. And that's gonna be a cycle that's gonna continue. If you get lucky and you get somebody to stay here, you're still really just rolling the dice there and getting lucky. Hey, so whenever you're looking at small commercial buildings like this, just remember, uh, this isn't Mayberry, this isn't Leave it to Beaver, this isn't uh, a time gone by when uh, small uh, local 
shops in small local towns really thrived. Um, I wish we were still there. Uh, I wish that, you know, the buy local mentality was uh, more than just a novelty or a fad. And maybe in your market uh, it is. But here in central Pennsylvania that is dotted uh, with a bunch of little cute small towns, uh, some of them do really well. Uh, some of them don't do really well. And uh, just be careful that you're not lying to yourself. Be careful that you're not fooling yourself. Uh, be careful that you're not wishing and hoping, but that you're actually investing. And be realistic about what your occupancy rate is. Be realistic about who uh, your tenant is. If somebody could rent something uh, nicer, would they? If somebody could rent in a better part of town or in a more uh, busy uh, part of town with more foot traffic or a mall or um, a strip mall or strip center or something like that, would they? Uh, sometimes these buildings in downtown don't really work. I actually have a four unit um, at a spot in York that I'm going to try and walk next week that I think really does work well. And um, I'm going to show you that uh, video here shortly. And it's right in the middle of a bunch of other uh, small local businesses. But if your building is not in the midst of a bunch of small local businesses, uh, just remember we make market. We don't make markets. We serve markets. We don't make markets. We serve markets. And, um, you know, don't think that you can be the first one in and try and really uh, revitalize something on a block that's really not happening. Watch out for parking. Um, oftentimes, one of the things that holds businesses back is, you know, people, you, the, whoever your tenant is, if their customers don't have a place that they can park, your customer's not going to be sat successful uh, and therefore uh, your occupancy of that building's not going to be successful. My name is Judah Hoover, uh, coming to you here with more great free knowledge and information from the Landlords and Investors Mastermind Group. Uh, give me a like, give me a share, give me a subscribe. Tell me down in the comments uh, if I have this totally wrong, uh, if you have seen better success or have some secrets on how to be successful uh, with these small small commercial buildings uh, and small commercial units, usually in a mixed type uh, situation. I have not been able to figure it out. Uh, I have not been able to figure out how to be successful at it or help my clients be successful at it. And so I think that uh, an abundance of caution is uh, definitely warranted. If you can make money at it, great. Uh, but I would not count on the unit. Um, I would count on the residentials that go along with it, but just uh, please be careful when you do small commercial units. Thanks, you guys, and have a great day.